Dear student, I am Dr. Harold Thomas, Professor in Applied Geology, Department of Applied Geology, Dr. Hari Singh Gaur Vishwadale Sagar. Today in this course, I will deliver my lecture on geology and its prospective. I will cover this topic in two parts. In first part lecture, I will proceed under the following heads, the introduction, pathology, structure geology, economic geology, physical geology and historical geology, paleontology, applied branches like geochemistry, hydrogeology, environmental geology, engineering geology, marine geology, geophysics and early geological studies. Hope it will be useful for you before embarking upon the main topics of the paper that is petrology. Geology includes all the sciences geology, geophysics and geochemistry that study the pathology, structure geology, evolution and dynamics of the planet earth and its natural minerals and energy resources. Geosciences investigation, the process that have saved the earth through its 4.6 billion years history and uses the rock records to unravel that history. It is concerned with the real world beyond the laboratory and has direct relevance to the needs of the society. Modern geology is founded on plate tectonic theory which state that the outer part of the earth, the lithosphere is composed of a series of interlocking plates in relative motion. All geological process such as mountain building, earthquakes and volcanic activities are directly or indirectly related to the motion of the plates. Geology thus stated interdisciplinary science because the range of topic, the range of subject and the range of processes that man studies for the sake of the better understanding of things that are happening around us and surface of the earth and think that are underneath its face affecting his lifestyle on the surface of the earth. That one has to know physical, chemical and biological aspect of it. So a single subject of geology is formed which are very nice integration, physics, chemistry, biology, astronomy and the mother science mathematics. It may not be placed to the mention here that one of the principle of geological investigation is law of uniformitism. Propound by a physician in Scotland in late 1700, Sir James Hutton, one way is starting this law of uniformitism may be like this, similar processes operating under similar circumstances proceed similar result if we the starting words then we put a modified that there is a high probability that similar processes operating under similar condition with produce similar result. This is the basic of all scientific investigation. The physicist, chemist and the biologist they have experimented to the replicate the natural phenomena. The term petrology comes from the ancient Greek word petra, rock and logos study that means the study of the rock and their origin or formation. That includes origin and classification of rock as well as the interpretation of their origin. Petrology is divided into igneous primary rock, sedimentary secondary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Igneous and metamorphic petrology are combined due to the similarity of approach and principle involved during their formation. Sedimentary rocks that is concerned with the physical and chemical properties of the sedimentary rocks and the processes involved in their formation, including the transportation, deposition in geosynclinal basin, lithification and transformation to sedimentary rocks after diagenesis. 
the study of the forces that deform the earth's rocks and the description and mapping of the deformed rocks bodies structural fabrics and defected such as fault folds foliation and joints are internal weaknesses of the rock which may affect the stability of the human engineered structures such as dam road cuts open pits mines and underground mines or road tunnels specific studies within the mineralogy includes the processes of mineral origin and formation classification of minerals their geographical distribution as well as their utilization a study of the chemical composition and the structure of the minerals and its importance during studies of petrology economic geology is a sub branch of geosciences it is the branch that deals with the earth materials that can be used for economic and or industrial purposes these materials include precious and base metals non metallic minerals construction grade stone petroleum minerals coal water radioactive minerals and geothermal sources this branch describe the useful minerals ores and non metallic minerals in respect of their commercial value metal content mode of occurrence classification grade uses and origin an applied aspect of the important branch includes geological exploration value assessment of economic deposit mining beneficiation reserve estimation and different aspect of mineral economics the applied aspect of this branch have great bearing on the formation of conservation measures that leads to a national mineral policy for the country physical geology physical geology is the study of the minerals soil earth rocks and how they have formed through times complex internal processes such as plate tectonics and mountain buildings have formed these rocks and brought them to the earth surface earthquakes are the result of sudden movement of the crustal plates releasing internal energy that becomes destructive at the surface internal heat and energy are released also through volcanic eruption external processes such as glaciation running water weathering and erosion have formed the landscapes we see today physical geology includes mineralogy the study of the chemical composition and structure of the minerals petrology the study of the composition and origin of the rocks geomorphology the study of the origin and landforms and their modification by dynamic process geochemistry the study of the chemical composition of the earth materials and the chemical changes that occur within the earth on its surface geophysics the study of the behavior of the rock material in response to the stresses and according to their principle of physics sedimentology the science of the erosion and deposition of rock particles by wind water or ice structure geology the study of the forces that deform the earth rocks and the description and mapping of the deformed bodies economic geology the study of the exploration and recovery of the natural resources such as ores and petroleum and engineering geology the study of the interaction of the earth crust with human made structures such as tunnel mines dams bridge and building foundation historical geology deals with the historical development of earth from the study of the rock they are analyzed to determine their structure 
composition and interrelationships and are examined for remains of the past life. Historical geology includes paleontology, the systematic study of past life form, stratigraphy of the layered rocks and their interrelationship, paleogeography of the location of ancient land masses and their boundaries and geological mapping, the superimposing of the geological formation upon existing topographic maps. Historical geologists divide all time since the formation of the earliest known rocks that is 4 billion years ago into four major division Precambrian time and the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic era. Each except the Cenozoic ended with profound changes in the deposition of the earth's continents and mountains and was characterized by the emergence of new form of life, see geological time scale, broad cyclic patterns which run through all historical geology includes a period of mountain and continent building followed by one of the erosion and in turn by a new period of elevation broadly stratigraphically deals with the succession of geological events and or rock layer from the beginning of the crustal formation up to the present time. It aims at establishing and describing the correct order of superimposition of the rock unit on the earth's surface. Thus, it actually establishes the correct succession of the rock formation oblique layers. It thereby unfolds the history of the geological events on the earth from the geological past to the present time and hence it is also referred to as historical geology as a synonymy. Stratigraphy is a branch of geology which deals with the start of sedimentary rocks, their succession, thickness, age, variation and correlation. It is principally used in the study of the sedimentary and layered volcanic rocks. In this lecture, I will proceed under the following heads, paleontology, applied branches like geochemistry, hydrogeology, environmental geology, engineering geology, marine geology, geophysics and early geological studies. Hope it will be useful for you before embarking upon the main topics of the paper that is petrology. It deals with the morphologic characteristics, mode of preservation, taxonomy, classification and geological history of the ancient life, both invertebrates, vertebrates and of plants. Fossils are remains of geologically very old and ancient life in form of entire body or hard parts which are calcified and or silcified, petrified in form of molds and cost or as a traces of remains, relics which are preserved in various modes within sedimentary strata. Fossilization is a natural process. Fossils have important uses in the field of biostratigraphy correlation, paleoclimates interpretation, top and bottom criteria for correct stratigraphic interpretation, paleogeographic reconstruction and economic geology field for their different aspect. Paleontology incorporates knowledge from biology, geology, ecology, anthropology, archaeology and even computer science to understand the processes that have lead to the organization and the evolution, destruction of the different type of organs since the life arose. This branch is of relatively recent application in which 
chemistry of the earth constituents are studied and as such it relates to the study of the occurrences distribution abundance mobility etc of different elements present in the crustal apron the study of the chemical composition of the earth material and the chemical changes that occur within the earth and on its surface geochemistry has made important contribution to the understanding of a number of processes including mental convention the formation of the planets and the origin of the granite and basalt in this methods geochemical anomalies detected in the ore bodies and its surroundings are used to locate the variety of metallic and non metallic economic deposit the realm of geochemistry extends beyond the earth in compassing the entire solar system also termed as geohydrology hydrology refers to the scientific study of the water of the earth especially with the relation to the effect of precipitation and evaporation upon the occurrences and character of a water in a stream lakes and on below the land surface it deals with mode of occurrences movement qualitative and quantitative nature of the ground water present in the zone of saturation below the surface the characteristic of the water bearing and conducting strata the aquifer are studied to access the ground water potential in terms of quality and equality in term of the hydrological cycle the scope of hydrology may be defined as the portion of the cycle from precipitation to re-evaporation or return to the water of the sea applied hydrology utilize scientific finding to the prediction rates and amount of runoff river forecasting estimates required spillwell and reservoir capacities study soil water plant relationship in agriculture estimate available water supply and for other application necessary to the management of water resources this is the branch that relates geology to the human activity it's describe the reciprocal relation between the environment and the modern mankind the modern society and its detrimental effects on our ecosystem through mining township formation deformation and other anthropogenic activities affect the global environment balance through pollution of air water land and biota in which concept of geology and civil engineering are given nearly equal weightage to construct engineering structures in the most suitable and safe geological site recommended by the geological studies restoration of the environment through geological endeavors is prime interest to the modern society geology play a positive role in environmental impact assessment eia and environmental management plan emp these aspect constitute the cardinal theme of the emerging branches the realm of the engineering geology is essentially in the area of earth structure interaction or investigation of how the earth or earth processes impact human made structure and human activities works completed by engineering geologist includes geological hazard assessment geotechnical material properties landslides and slope stability erosion flooding dewatering and seismic investigation etc engineering geology studies are performed 
by a geologist or engineering geologist that is educated, trained and has obtained experience related to, to the recognition and interpretation of the natural process, the understanding of how these processes impart human made structures. This allied branch deals with the application of geological knowledge in evolving and favorably location in the littoral, offshore and cell regions to explore into the realm of marine sediment sites to describe the coastal geomorphological characteristic. The presence of offshore oil and gases, reservoirs and vast mineral wealth of the black sands beach placers. Oceanography is the study of the physical and biological aspect of the ocean. It is an earth science which cover a wide range of topics including ecosystem, dynamics, ocean currents, waves and geophysical fluids, dynamics, plate tectonic and the geology of the sea floor. It relates to the study of physical property like gravity, density, magnetism, electricity, seismic wave behavior, electrical and electromagnetic behavior and radioactivity response to the rock and mineral deposit. Underneath geophysical methods take place, the advantage of the deviation of the properties from normal ground behavior that is deviation from the normal values term as anomalies. These methods are quickly and easily completed on the surface over large areas which can be explored economically and efficiently. Exploration geophysics otherwise term as geophysical prospecting methods are helpful in knowing the subsurface geological structure to help in discovering variety of metallic minerals, radioactive deposit and petroleum traps, resistivity method in particular add in assessing the potential of ground, underground water of a region. Remote sensing is acquisition of information about the object or performa without making physical contact with the object and thus in contrast to the on-site observation, remote sensing is used in numerous fields including geography, land survey and most earth science discipline for example hydrology, ecology, oceanography, glaciology, geology. It also has military intelligence, commercial economic planning and humanitarian application. Observation on earth structure and processes were met by a number of ancient including Herodotus, Aristotle, etc. Their individual effect in the natural history of the earth, however, provided on substantial progress. Their major contribution is that they attributed the phenomena they have observed to natural and not supernatural causes. Many of the ideas expressed by these men were not to resurface. Following branches of geology are very common nowadays. Petrology, economic geology, geomorphology, hydrogeology, mineralogy, crystallography, oceanography, paleontology, plate tectonic, rheology, volcanology, sedimentology, stratigraphy, seismology, structure geology, geochemistry, isotope geology, etc. Dear student, today in this lecture we have discussed about the introduction 
petrology, structure geology, economic geology, physical geology, and historical geology, paleontology, applied branch like geochemistry, hydrology, environmental geology, engineering geology, marine geology, geophysics, and early geological studies. Hope it will be useful for all of you before embarking upon the main topic of the paper that is metrology. I believe this lecture was useful for you. For further studies, please read the books, references and links given in the text. Thank you very much.